In this video, we'll demonstrate how to set up your Nikon cameras for high-quality live streams, web conferences, and video calls. This includes your Z7, Z6, Z50, and even your Nikon DSLR, such as the D850, D780, D750, D7500, or the D5600. To extend the capabilities of your camera for a complete experience, add on an external microphone and an HDMI capture card. With the Z6 here, we're using the Aver Media Live Gamer Ultra, a low latency HDMI to USB capture card, and a Deity VMic D3 microphone for extra crisp to your vocal. Of course, you can use any other similar brands that are available to you. First, mount the mic on the camera's hot shoe. If the mic has a windscreen, put it on to filter wind noises, especially in a windy situation. Locate the camera ports, typically found on the right side from the front of the lens. Connect the mic's audio cable to the mic port. Next, connect the HDMI cable to the HDMI port. The Z6 example here uses a Type-C mini HDMI connector. Thus, you'll need a mini HDMI to HDMI cable, such as the HCE1 from Nikon. On the capture card itself, locate the HDMI in port and connect the other end of the HDMI cable to it. Finally, connect the USB cable to both the capture card and the computer. You are now ready to use your Nikon as a high-quality webcam. To start, switch the camera to video mode. Disable the power-saving features in the Z6 by going to the custom setting menu. Navigate to Timers, AE Lock, and locate Power Off Delay. Set Standby Timer to No Limit. This prevents the camera from going into sleep mode. You can use any of your favorite shooting modes. However, we recommend going full manual mode with Auto ISO enabled. You can access useful settings from the on-screen eye menu. For best results, change focus mode to full-time AF and AF area mode to auto area AF. If you're using the camera on a tripod, disable VR to reduce power consumption for longer shooting duration. A Z6 with a good condition ENEL15B battery will last about 70 to 80 minutes in typical usage. You can also use an AC adapter for longer sessions. If you're live streaming, you can use almost all the popular applications including the readily available Streamlabs OBS. To do this, add the capture card as a video source and follow with the same for audio source. You will then decide where you intend to stream to, be it Facebook Live, YouTube, or any other platforms. Finally, the web conferences and video calls from the application Activate the Settings page. Locate the Video tab and change the active camera to the capture card. Do enable HD if it's available as an option. You will be able to see the live preview from the camera if everything is set up correctly. Remember to configure the applications to use the audio from the camera to avoid lip-sync errors. Happy streaming with Nikon!